This has to be one of the wildest stories I've ever heard of. And it's of course a vulture murder mystery. Nestled within South Mumbai is one of India's most exclusive neighborhoods called Malabar Hill. And yet no amount of money in the world will get you a piece of land within these 52 acres that surround this hill because at the very center of this forbidden forest is a 300 year old tower of silence, a funerary tower where the Parsi community practices sky burial. In the Zoroastrian tradition, they believe to ensure peaceful passage after death, the body must be disposed of by exposure, aka scavenged clean by birds of prey, typically vultures. This is partly because of their belief in Nasu, an evil spirit that inhabits the body after death, but also because it's considered the most environmentally friendly death ritual. Vultures can pick a body clean within hours before decomposition sets in. This both solves the issue of Nasu and the body gets recycled back into nature via the vulture. Thus, burials were done this way for nearly 3,000 years until 2006. That year, this woman named Dunbaria snuck up to the tower to see her mother's body. What she saw haunted her forever and made headlines around the world. Scattered around the tower were fully intact bodies, bloated beyond recognition and decomposing. The news called for a reevaluation of Zoroastrian death rituals, but the bird biologist had a different question. Where were all the vultures? That's when Dr. Munir Varani entered the picture, a world-renowned raptor biologist from Nairobi. He discovered some Something shocking. 95% of India's vulture population was just gone. This became the fastest declining bird species in recorded history. But here's what made it a murder mystery. The birds looked healthy, no visible signs of illness, yet they were all dropping dead. So Dr. Munir necrosied a dead vulture and found something really bizarre. There was a thick white paste coating every internal organ and it tested positive for uric acid, which is essentially bird droppings. It is a telltale sign of kidney failure. But how are millions of vultures in India dying from kidney failure? Turns out that the vast majority of cattle farmers in India were giving their cows a diclofenac, an NSAID like ibuprofen to ease their joints in pain. Diclofenac is a great pain reliever, but it can do a number on your kidneys if taken chronically. So these vultures were eating dead cows with diclofenac pumping through their veins, which caused their kidney failure. But why did this only happen in India? Hindus don't eat beef. So if the humans weren't eating the cows, then it was up for grabs for the vultures. Once the connection was made, veterinary diclofenac was banned in India, and now the vulture population has stabilized. The wildest part about all of this is that a 3,000-year-old death ritual helped solve an ecological mystery. Follow me for more spooky science series all October long, 